it was a crazy thought. I want to die here. You should carry me out of here. I'll die here. We used to sleep in one bed. At night, I'd, I'd try to just put an apple under my pillow. My mother never lied to me. She told me he's my brother, and I accept it. But he is my brother. He's with me 75 years. And God help him, if he lose me, I'll kill him. I tell you, you're the witnesses. You find him dead, I did it. He shouldn't dare even think about it. That that's my that's my psychology. We live together, we walk together, we stay together, we go home together. I don't know no other way. I've been here seventy five years. Actually ninety five. Then there was an interruption in the Second World War. And then I came back. And they smuggled me into this. There was shortage of labor. And I remained here 75 years. I was about, uh, I was 29. And the movie I watched was a silent, silent movie, no talk. Then, then Al Jelson made uh, the, the second movie, partly talk, very little. In 1931, 1930, See, a lot of songs, a lot of movies that were made years ago are still there. And I met her. And I drove her home. And I drove her home. She lived not far from me. She worked in the area here. And that's the girl I married. I was 18 when I met her. And when I went to the army, she stayed with my parents. See? And when I came back, it seemed that she was the daughter and I was the son-in-law. That's what the neighbors thought. That's the kind of a lady she was. Never questioned me. Forty-one, forty-two, the Second World War. And a lot of women had to take the jobs because a lot of men went to the army. So the labor was short and the working women was the purchasing power. So they started buying these things. I did it. I, I worked hard. I want a dress. I want a coat. And they started purchasing these things in 1943, in the beginning, of, of the good years. So 
but they used to buy a fox coat, a fox jacket, or a cloth coat with all kind of trimmings on it. They had the money. They, they treated themselves. See, in this building, like many buildings, in the lobby was a big sign on the wall. And everybody that was in the building had the name. Then a few people volunteered, three, four people, to go from floor to floor. Yes, that's a true story. To be floor to floor, something for the Red Cross, something for the poor. So uh, if you didn't give the money, they didn't put a red star next to your name, and everybody saw your name on the lobby, so everybody donated. It was very busy at that time. We were walking the street with so many people here. Everybody was busy here. This building was full of foyers. Out of 1938, I went to the army, I came back, I came back here. Yeah. He wanted me to stay in the army, but he told me to come here. He was patrolling the area, and a, 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 a bomb blew up right near him. So he got a purple heart, too. I enjoy making this. I dug into my set and I make nice hats. I we sell them. I was lucky to begin with with a wife that I had. Never questioned me where do I come in. See, so but I spent my time here to create and to build and to have. You have to create. This is creative art. And if somehow I felt I'm creating my, my feelings into things. And I make nice things. I used to sit back and say, I like it. It's beautiful. I enjoyed it. And it went over. See? That's now we, made you. we had little pieces left over. Nothing was wasted. So we used to have put it together. See, all these are seams. And then we used to make garments out of this. It was a byproduct. There was nothing wasted. We never had enough to make. And the industry grew to a lot of people and a lot of production. It was a way of life. Suddenly, somehow, things turned. Go out of style. The core business is out of style. Every business is out. The jewelry business and the head business and the tie. I used to buy a tie for 10 cents. And the client business started from the 90s. In 91, 92, we people start going, to, you know, manufacturers start sending work to, they start with Korea and then the China took over and that took all the the jobs away and people did not have a lot of work, not have enough work. They used to work like six months a year. Six months a year you could not uh, raise a family by working six months a year. And today there's no industry. Industry. There's no industry today. It's just, you know, Ben and me someplace and you know, about maybe more than not more than 30, 40 shops. I made a twenty-five, a dollar fifty cents a haircut. I hadn't had that time. But the guy now needs electric, he's got to pay the rent. $20 for him. Today they're crazy. There's more than just the four business, there's photography business, there's all different kind of businesses, each one of its own. There's a lot to learn, a lot to find out.
The man lady is here, Abby. Oh, she's here? Yeah. Oh, where's she at? Hi, Harvey! Looking good, Harvey! Got any mail? No, no mail today. Nothing? No mail today. Maybe tomorrow you can get um, So what I do is I try to rush my route so I can spend a little bit more time with them. Uh, I don't have that much time because you're only allowed to take like 35 minutes lunch. Um, so, but it's just been like maybe recently like two years, but I always used to come here and say hello and give them the mail, uh, take their mail for them. Sometimes they have packages that because of the age, I feel kind of bad. So it's difficult for them to travel far to the post office. So I used to pick up uh, their mail and pick up any packages that they needed to be mailed. And I took care of that. This is different. But it's a different phone company. This is Simpson. Right. And that's LG. Yeah. So it's a different comb. Yeah, so what you do better. is take huh? the chip and put it in the other yeah. phone and see if it works. This is better. This is nicer. Yeah. Depends which one you like. Huh? Which one you like the most? No, I told me this is everything. Life has changed. You know, I, 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 I see. I'm, I, I'm not used to it. The, the family structure. See here, my brother and I used to volunteer to a temple in my house. Six o'clock we used to open it and make breakfast for 20 guys. Santa, whether you like it or not, after 75 years, you don't say no.